from the footage you last saw i got back from work a while ago it is going on seven right now and the whole idea about today's meal thing food dinner was i was gonna have a prawn and egg salad you can see the pots over there mm -hmm. i prepared the prawns i prepared the egg uh, I boiled the egg, I just did the prawns, I sautéed them with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of fish spice and a little bit of lemon juice. It's great. Then my sister hit 100k on Instagram, got excited, poured myself a drink, concoction of this. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see it by now. If not, I will put the reel here i really would appreciate if you guys would follow me on instagram i know i always say follow me on youtube follow me on youtube but i mean that i mean that uh which we're, we're trying to get to 50k okay by the end of the year i don't know if we can get to 50k by june that's a lot that's a lot and that will require a lot from me and a lot from you because i can't do this alone and i'm already posting three videos a week considering that i have a nine to five as well so it's <laughs> it's a lot okay so i really need you to help me by just doing your part as well by sharing and reposting and you have been doing that and i thank you so so much i just need you to do it teeny teeny little bit more anyway back to the dinner so i thought i'm gonna have that i'm gonna have a prawn and egg salad i am gonna do it with uh lettuce because baby spinach is not a thing for me because i normally have um green smoothies every day when I get back from work. So I already had that. Uh, I could have it with a green smoothie. I don't feel like having it with, with a green smoothie. I could have it with a baby spinach, but I don't feel like having it with baby spinach. I had baby spinach earlier. So at some point I didn't want to have it. My sister got to 100K. I poured myself a drink. Um, I'm like three drinks in right now, feeling really, really lovely. <laughs> And I don't actually know if I've got all the ingredients that I would like to add to the salad. I know I've got the lettuce, I've got the prawns and the egg. I've got a dressing that I can put on top there. Um, I just don't know if I've got peppers, which I think would go really well. Uh, robot peppers would go really well with that. It would kind of complete it. I don't think I have that. I don't have croutons, which again sucks. Um... So at this point, I actually don't even know if I want to have this salad. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't like making a salad if at all I don't have all the ingredients I need. I feel like oh, it's a half job. And what is the point of doing a half job? You know what I mean? When you're doing a salad. So I'm going to check in my fridge. I don't recall buying robot peppers. So I'm going to check. If I have them there, I know I've got a cucumber. But if I have the robot peppers, great. If I don't, oh, if I do have them, I'll show you the process. Sure, quick, easy. 
considering that I've made the food already. But if I don't, it'll be like that sometimes. I don't know what I'm gonna have, but let's see. Ha ha hoo ho hoo ha ha. I got it. So we are gonna do the salad. I guess that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare it. You can prepare your prawns the way you wanna prepare them. That's great. Uh, and uh, boiling an egg is not rocket science, okay? You can do that too. So I'm gonna get everything prepped. I'm gonna cut everything up and then I'm gonna dress it and prepare it for you in a dish, okay? Let's get into it. I won't catch you, don't know I'm starting. Cause you love to have a more crime. Gonna be sweet day Tell me you need me But I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema I go uh, Cause you a bad man If she don't love money She break your cross real fast like a man When I swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets honestly Can you keep it real cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby don't be shy here it is it is a salad so it might look huge but in truth it's all greens it's all good stuff so salads are the one meals where you can go all out as long as there's a lot of greens on the plate you're fine you're good you're good as i said i've got my drink with me I got my drink in my cup, I got my drink in my cup, I got my drink in my glass. How about that? Catch me outside. Um, so we're going to do a taste test. I've had this multiple times before. Uh, the Avo was just a nice added fats kind of vibe, but for the most part, everything is proteins, greens, water, with the cucumber. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm-mm. 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 It's clean. Listen, you're going to go to bed satiated, not extremely full, but you're going to go back to going to go to bed satiated, feeling pretty good, having eaten a healthy meal. Am I the only one who feels really good? Like I could run a marathon. Okay. I really could run a marathon <laughs> after I have a salad because I feel like I'm healthy. I'm good. I can run. I could do the comrades. So it's fine. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm lying to myself. Um, I can't do the comrades. <laughs> and that's impossible. My surgeon would kill me if I did the comrades, but it'd be like that sometimes. Mm. Mm. So the Avo adds that little creaminess to the salad, which is really nice. And then the peppers add a bit of sweetness to the salad. Again, very nice. And then, of course, we all know what egg tastes like. <laughs> um, but the dressing that I used is a honey and balsamic dressing from Woolworths. I used to have the big one, but then it sat in my fridge for quite a while. So earlier on this week, I just picked up the smaller one because I realized that, you know what, just buy what you need. Because if it sits in the fridge for a while and then it's like, mm, I don't know. I don't know how good this day is. <laughs> um, don't forget to do it like him, K. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go have my dinner. <clears throat> Sister. Sister. I'm going to go have my dinner. I might come back later, I don't know. If not, it'll be tomorrow. So, 
you saw at least two of the meals I ate this week. All of them very healthy. Um, it's up to you. Here's the thing. You really can make um, healthy meals fun, taste, full of taste, enjoyable to eat. Um, just really a triumph for your taste buds. If only you do the work, do the research, find out how you can make bland meals like a salad be delicious. Okay? Don't just go with that whole thing. You would, ah, salad or ah. You can make your salad in the house very good. It's up to you what you do with it. Okay? I'm gonna go. And I'll talk to you soon, later, or if not later, tomorrow. Okay? Bye. recently gone back to this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer for the daytime. I really, really like it, especially in summertime. It just gives a little bit of a glow. Um, and then at night, I'll use my skin creamery stuff. But I recently went back to this and I repurchased it and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to dive into it. I'm going to do what I do, you know what I'm saying? I think I may have mentioned it as well in... Um, Ah, oh, girl, girl, I think I may have mentioned it as well in one of my videos. I'm just not sure which one, but she really, truly is the girl she thinks she is, okay? Ooh, cooking ham natty and I should tell you the perfume, guys. Yadli, di chich, yadli le kaleidoscope chich, tsepang un. I don't know if I talked in any portion of this morning's shenanigans um, <clears throat> but I'm actually on my way to meet my sister for brunch apparently it's something we do now do you know what I mean yeah apparently it's apparently it's us now you know with those girls who brunch gee because it's, it's a day some day in the week so I'm gonna go meet my sister now uh, I feel pretty good. This is what happens when you eat a salad the night before you just zag, 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 zag. Uh, I can't dance so it gets to be like that sometimes um, But uh, Yeah, I'm on my way to see her but not only that Well by the time this video is live Basa watches all my videos 
Um, so does Balisa's birthday on Wednesday, and the thing is, I haven't bought Balisa her gift, but Balisa's busy living her best birthday life, which really helps me because she's in Cape Town this weekend. So I'm just like, <laughs> that gives me an opportunity to go buy her gift. I don't know what I'm gonna get her. I'm treating my sister to brunch today because I'm the one who suggested it. So I'm treating her to brunch and then. I'm just gonna just gonna have a look see there by the shops but not only that I also need to buy myself um my wine white wine glasses are finished they I broke them my sister broke them uh, and I really want the ones that I had before and I know where they sell them so I'm gonna go there maybe I might snap a little bit when I'm there or record a bit when I'm there and then yeah so i'm gonna leave a little bit earlier than uh i'm scheduled to meet my sister but i'm going to be in the same complex yeah tasha's and i want to just have a look around there and then right now oof, almost dropped this right now i want to make some lemon water i've already had about a liter of water today like i've, I've it's, it's, it's pretty much a leader it's pretty much a leader you know i've already had that today and uh had my injection of apple cider vinegar we hate it we love to hate it but it just makes us feel good it makes things work in here uh but for now i need to get some ice so i know i complained about lemon water a while ago and it's that I, I just don't have it as often as i normally uh, do and because of that I'm really not as bothered by my ears nose area much anymore So I'm pretty sure it was the lemon water with ice because I would have that every day all day, so I think since I stopped it's pretty good. So otherwise Mina uh, <laughs> I watched Tinder Sindla eh? I watched Tinder Sindla and uh, I watched in the Zindler and what a wow, Simon. Frankly, I feel with all the things that I need to do today, buy, pay for today, I feel like I need to send somebody a text and say, send me money, my enemies are after me. You know, or cut their hurt or something. Because at this point, sus. <clears throat> No, really, but I watched Tinder Swindler and <laughs> what a wow. You know, there's a part of me that feels like, feels bad for these women, but there's also another part of me that just questioned everything. In my head, I'm sitting there thinking, what if Simon took a bus to the date and they met at a coffee shop and then Simon asked, oh, come with me because I want to go into the next town and not another country by bus to go do some business what what would the baby girl go would the baby girl go if simon was taking a bus would baby girl go i don't i don't see it so baby girls got chumped by the money which is fine get chumped by the money it's it's, it's okay but then how do you open accounts mm? Mm, how do you open loans nine loans first and foremost? Let's talk about the banking system in the UK. Okay, because You bet your bottom dollar. You're not going to take out nine loans using the banks or creditors or whatever in this country Forget it. Our banking rules are very strict. They're checking you the background checking you They're checking how much you owe. They're checking who you owe. You are you do are you robbing pizza to pay Paul? They're checking all that stuff in our banks so I'm trying to understand how you opened nine loans. You took out nine loans for a billionaire. When, since when is a billionaire asking for money? I mean, I was just like, and now she's excited. She's going there. She's checking for apartments. Like, oh, me and my boo, we're going <laughs> we to live together in this here 98,000 uh, uh, pounds apartment per month. Nene. The apartment was 24. Or 30,000 pounds or something. I don't know. I watched it two weeks ago at this point. But are you mad? Johnny, make it make sense. Yeah, one of the girls that I, I respected was Eileen. Even though, no, Eileen, 
I Lynn took out a lot of money as well, hundred and something thousand. But that last year, when she was like, you know what, I'm gonna sell his shit to recoup some of my money. I, I felt that. I heard it. I heard it. I would do that too. Mm -hmm. No, I heard that one, Shem, yes. Mm -mm. I heard that one. So, I... I, now, this year morning, I just read somewhere on Instagram that the girls, these three women, have opened a GoFundMe so that people can help them pay off their debts. Where? W was I there on the plane? No, was I there on the plane? Did you invite me to Mykonos? Did you invite me to Oslo, Norway, so that we could drink the money and enjoy and stay in the five-star hotel together? But now, why am I responsible why should I feel bad for you so that I... And first and foremost, people are going off and no, Netflix should help them. No story is free, gents. I definitely feel that Netflix did pay them something, but because the snogger nogger you're owing is a lot. Is a lot. But now we have to help you. No, I wasn't there on the plane, me. Mm -mm. Now I'm a nice person, gents. Hey? I'm a nice person, but I do not condone what I am. I don't, I just do, I don't. A billionaire will never ask you for money. Let's start there. My enemy is Peter Head. Then what must happen when Peter's head? Take Peter to the hospital. My I must take out a loan because Peter's head. Get out of here now. Suck. Get out of here. Simon was swindling blind. He was robbing Peter to spend with Paul. And robbing Paul to spend with James. You understand? So Sam, that's why he didn't get a long sentence because nothing was in his name. Nothing was in his name. So that, that's why Simon, people are like, no, why Simon didn't even stay long in jail? Because Simon, ula, ula, slam, slam. But I ain't even gonna lie, I cracked up when I thought, when he was like, he's living in a hostel. I was like, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, what are this five star, what, 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 what? You like things. Uzoe, guys, be careful. Be careful. Just because you like things and you like to live the soft life and you blah, 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 blah. Live the soft life for yourself. Don't depend on other people to help you live a soft life. Don't do that. Make sure Uguti, you've got the snogging girl to live that soft life. Otherwise. Sis is expecting guests, okay? Um, so I got back about so I got back, yeah, around 10 to 5 ish. Um, my sister is coming back, uh, along with a couple of other guests, okay? I am not going to vlog this here event because um yeah those are personal people to us which we keep personal <laughs> you know where it's going <laughs> okay uh they haven't arrived yet uh the weather is beautiful so i decided to just kind of set up outside you guys know how i set up with my picnic spreads and all of that i haven't really set up a charcuterie board which is wild to me because i haven't done one in so long uh, but I just really didn't have the time to pop into the shops and then get all this and get all that. I really just didn't get nothing. Nothing. I was supposed to buy a Palestine present, but I think that's going to be moved to tomorrow, which is fine. Um, so I don't necessarily have anything except fruits, which is something I have access of. Access of. Um, and maybe... Uh, some popcorn I don't keep chips in the house anymore because you know what that American barbecue can do to you child <laughs> no 
I have swapped out water in here for a little sippy sippy drink um, which is quite enjoyable because it is so hot there's no sign of rain which is amazing so we can all sit outside charging my speaker right now my JBL speaker so we can sit outside and listen to music everybody's pretty much on their way uh, my sister is the one who's closest to me because she's at her place and then everybody else is just coming from all different places blah 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 so yeah today was today was a good day um i put up a post today where i was talking about you know just the stresses of having to juggle work content creation trying to spend time with family and friends and just all of that meshing together and uh for me Man, it's taken its toll on me, I won't lie, especially given that I was working right throughout December, pushing content. And especially now, if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll know that every day I put up something, sometimes twice in that day. Uh, that's why I'm trying to, you know, grow my Instagram platform as much as I can, because I know a lot of the time, um, things that brands look at as well is uh, Instagram. So... Um, I know that you guys want wonderful things for me and I really would appreciate it if you do follow me on Instagram because that will help push my numbers and potentially get work with brands for campaigns and all of that. So that will help me a lot. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do. I really would appreciate it. Even though you're just, just clicking for it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I need the numbers. Um... But I would like to say that that the, the stuff I push on there is is, is proper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, today's just gonna be an easy afternoon slash evening with drinks and food. We're probably gonna just order something out uh, in the evening to eat. You we'll Uber eat something, which I'm excited about. Uh, one person was talking about Nando's. I was talking about pizza. So we're going to see how we're going to roll it. Uh, but it is Friday and I tend to give myself uh, a lot of leeway on the weekends. So uh, pizza I haven't had in a couple of weeks, I think. The last time I had pizza was with my friend. <laughs> good morning uh it is sunday i think i put in the clip of when i was letting you guys know that i'm heading out it is sunday today haven't done much speaking just came back from Woolworths uh from getting a couple of things for the house i've got a few things that i need to do today uh that require me to just be off off here off this so i'm going to do a quick uh grocery haul because i haven't done one in a while but chances are the things you're going to see here are the same things, okay? But I'm going to show them to you anyway because you all like these fancy, fancy things. Uh, I've taken out some chicken. I'm going to have chicken today and maybe throughout the next couple of days this week. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the oven, nothing hectic, and then maybe just saute some vegetables on the side and have that. But I also bought a, a salad, a wheat, a bugla, wheat, bulga bulgur wheat salad um so yeah we'll have that but for the rest of the week i bought some vegetables we've got the robot peppers here spring onion because she always springs into action when i need her okay she's great for my breakfasts. she's great for my dinners she's great all the time uh and spring onion is great another alternative to put into meat when you put meat in the oven if you've been watching my vlogs, you will know this because I do it all the time. Um, some vegetables, got roasting vegetables this side 
and we've got country vegetables this side uh, those are more green and we've got more uh, pumpkin in this one just pretty all right um, got these spinach I'm not gonna show you how many you know that's how I roll got some cucumber as well cucumber is, is actually quite a fave lately for me especially in my salads um, also when I do like bougie bowls or something like that I really I really like cucumber mm. I'm trying not to buy cucumber from Nando's Ah, cucumber from Nando's I'm trying not to, I'm actually really tired I'm actually trying not to buy um, bougie bowls from Nando's as much as I love them I'm trying to make them in my house bougie bowls Buddha bowls that kind of thing just a much more healthier alternative as opposed to having it with rice I'll have it with burger wheat or I just won't have it with any wheat I'll just um, yeah make it the way I want to make it healthier and then here I've got some uh, Cape Brown Cape Brown Cape Brown figs uh, and some what are these things raspberries raspberries and blackberries these the set is from Woolworths really really like that avocados because I go through avocados like mad like mad and then when I needed to pick up which I not that I'm out of but I think it's it's off it's gone off is the plain crema um, balsamic reduction this is this is this is it um, really really love this one this is what I add to my salads and I'm quite enjoying having salads I also add it to my meat sometimes also, it depends on my fish okay okay um, yeah, the bulgur wheat uh, salad that I got is this one with baby spinach. I think I'm probably going to have this today. Hi. So I've just come upstairs uh, to do my face real quick. Because uh, I've got a couple of things that I want to do today. That's my phone. That's my phone. That's my phone, child. That's my phone. Um, I've got a couple of things that I need to do today. In truth, I'm not in the best mood today. Uh, a lot of the time, I try to be in a good mood, especially on days where I'm filming. I really, really, I really, really try, yeah. <laughs> but today is it's just not that day. Uh, this weekend was not a good weekend. And I remember putting up on Instagram in one of my posts where I was talking about asking a question to say, what do you guys do when you've got Where's my brush? Okay. What do you guys do when you've got a lot that you have to juggle? And sometimes it just feels exhausting and overwhelming. Because that is the phase of my life that I'm in right now. I just feel like I've got so much that I want to do. So much that I want to achieve. Today's Sunday. Typically for me, I want to rest on a Sunday. I don't even want to pick up my camera. I don't even want to. I don't want to do any of it. But um, I'm also doing this now because when I'm in a bad space, I tend to want to keep busy. And I remember telling one of my friends that I am a high-functioning anxiety individual because I want to keep busy. I want to distract myself from my thoughts because my thoughts are just really not in a good place right now, you know. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, I've got things that I need to do because I've got work tomorrow and I just don't find time I try to sometimes when I come back early from work or whatever but I a lot of the time I try not to work on content or other stuff when I've gone back from work on like during the week you saw um, <clears throat> I try to rest um, I want to know how you guys do it because I always get comments from y'all saying, yo, I, don't, I wonder how you manage a nine to five and how you manage social media content creation and how you manage still trying to, you know, live your life and be with people you care about, family, friends and whatever. How do you manage? To be honest, guys, a lot of the time when you see my vlogs, I'm at home because the purpose of my vlogs is I know that I'm not the only one who enjoys spending time at home. And the content, the vlog content in the essay space 
is often going out, let's go drink, let's have a good time, let's meet friends for lunch, let's do this, 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 this. And I feel like only introverts will get that this, 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 <laughs> at Instagram reel, this, this, um, only introverts will get that I enjoy being at home because they enjoy being at home. I enjoy uh, watching content of people at home because they do that too. Make sure that the content that I put out is content when I'm at home a lot of the time because I'm home a lot of the time. I do go out with my friends and whatever, but I haven't, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I haven't seen my friends in a really long time because we've got a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? We've got a lot going on. There's just pressures of life and work and whatever. And now also trying to juggle all of that is a lot. It's a lot of work. So on Friday, when I put up that Instagram post, I really was exhausted. I was tired. And I think I've said this a number of times on the channel this year that I never took a break in December, which is a lot of the time um, social media content creators will take a break, you know, influencers, digital creators, they'll take a break around December because, hey man, they've been working, you know. Um, but for me, I tend to feel a little bit guilty. And this is who I am. It's not, it's not, please don't, don't be me in this, in this year instance, don't be me. I tend to feel a little bit guilty that I've got nothing up on my Instagram or I've got nothing like for the, for, for days on end. I tend to feel a little bit guilty. Uh, I can't allow two days, three days to go past without me uploading or posting something, whether it's a, a, a stand, standing post or if it's a reel and whatever. And I know and firmly believe that that's an unhealthy way to function. You know, I know that my page and what I do is highly dependent on the amount of content that I create for, you know, views, likes, follows, what, 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 what. And I hear the chat, but it shouldn't ever impact my day-to-day -day life, you know, and wanting to take a break and all of that. But I, sometimes me, guys, uh, it's a bit tricky. But I juggle all of this stuff with time management. I know that, okay, this week I need to do this, the pre-recording, the all of this, yada, yada, yada. I know I always have an excess of two or three videos just in case ready to go or reels or whatever. Just in case I want to take a week off. Do I ever take a week off? No, I don't. Am I considering taking a week off uh, in March? A week or two off? I am. Will I do it? I don't know. That's just where the conflict comes in because I'm like, I should, I deserve to take a break. I deserve to just not look at content creating and all this stuff. And I just deserve to just focus on myself, you know, and the people that are around me and, you know, focus on that kind of stuff. And I hear the chat, exercising it and implementing it is really, really hard. That's where the challenge comes in. Anywho, so, uh, today is just not the best day, man. I think somebody, someone who is really close to me said some messed up things about me. And, um, I'm really, I, I spent the weekend really just upset and broken about it. You know what I'm saying? Upset and broken about it. Um, but I'm trying, I'm trying to just live in the moment, pray about it, and let it go. Because there really isn't anything I can do about someone's perception of me, whether incorrect or correct. There really isn't anything I can do. And if somebody chooses to see me a certain way, which is really truly not who I am or what I'm about or what my life is, I can't, I, I can't do jack about it. Except if you came up to me and you said, I don't like this, 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 this. Then we can talk about it. But if someone has already made up their mind, woo! <laughs> if somebody has already made up their mind about the kind of person that I am without actually wanting to confirm that with me or deny it with me, there's nothing I can do about it. So today, 
I really am in a bit of a, a sad place. I am. And I put the camera on because I want you all to see that I don't have... There are days where I'm just like, I don't want to sew it. Like right now I want to cry and then I'm just like, sister, makeup. We're not going to do that. Um, so I am in a bit of a sad place right now. Is there anything I can do about it right now? No. Am I going to live through it, pray about it, let it go? Yes. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, am I sad about it? Absolutely. Am I trying to distract myself by working a bit? Yep, I am. So that's, 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 that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to film for the rest of the day. I think this vlog is going to end here. There's a lot of cooking content in this here vlog. So you're welcome. And a grocery haul and all of that. So you're welcome. I haven't eaten. It is 10 o'clock. It's 11. It's 11 o'clock. Um, I haven't eaten. But I will shortly. After I do all the things that I need to do. But... Uh, yeah man i'm just i'm just a little bit sad you know I, I i think there's a lot of stuff that makes me sad i'm a bit of a crybaby okay i'm not as strong as y'all think i am but i'm strong when it comes to you know people from the outside making judgments about me people who don't know me ah uh, they i don't it's fine yo if you're gonna feel some type of way about me without actually even you know taking the time out to actually find out if these here thoughts that you have about me or the perceptions that you have about me are true or not I, there's nothing i can do about that but when it comes from my inner circle i heard something but when it comes from my inner circle of people that i care about and people that i speak about regularly it hurts me quite a lot so i'm gonna finish off here now and i'll speak to you guys later i promise i'll t touch base again later uh, but just let me know let other people know how do you juggle um having a lot going on at the same time being so busy that you got to work that you got this you got this you got this you got this how do you juggle it uh i'd love for moms also to comment on this you know especially working moms as well comment because we know how y'all how them little demons keep y'all busy okay we know how those little demons keep y'all i'm kidding i'm kidding guys um but uh love for you to comment also how do you deal with somebody who is close to you who's part of your inner circle of the people that are in your life talking shit about you how do you deal with something like that hmm. i think that would be another interesting candid with cat topic but we'll talk about it okay i'm gonna go and i'll speak to you guys later I wanna give you up I know we've been through way too much But I'm confident we'll make it through I'm here for you You're not by yourself Lay the clock and body talk There's no need to bring it up Nothing you say makes it better mm -hmm. Wreck and fall, tear apart Issues left behind so um, <laughs> am I tired? Sure, definitely. Uh, I, I finished everything. I don't want to take my face off because it's only like 20 to 3. It's only like 20 to 3. And who knows where the night might end up. Um, so I feel a lot better. Oh, my God. All right. H hang on. Hang on. Let's chat. Let's chat. Okay. So I feel a lot better than I did when I was putting my makeup on and I knew that I would. I knew that if I got something done today, even though Sundays are not days that I would recommend that you work, okay? But I told you guys, I'm high functioning, okay? I feel like if I'm having a bad day and I just want to spruce it up a little bit or I just want to feel a little bit better about myself, I work and it's not the healthiest thing that thing okay but i just get productive i figure it out somehow some way somehow and i get productive and i did that so for the past three hours 
I was actually, I wanted to record today, like sit down videos and whatever, but I actually ended up just shooting photos. I, 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 here's the thing. I don't have a professional photographer that comes to me or I go to them and I pay them a lot of money or whatever. You guys know I'm trying to save my coin. So a lot of the pictures that you see that are shot in the house on my Instagram page are shot by me like I actually set up I've got an app on my phone and I set up the pictures and I shoot them and one of the things that I love about shooting in the house by myself is that I figure out how I want to do it um, I determine the you know do I want the light this way or do I want this that way or do I want to accentuate this and not this and blah 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 and so that's one of the reasons why I love shooting at home. If things get better and Good Sis starts getting some campaigns in and extra money that I can play around with, definitely I'll get a photographer. I will, I will. But um, as somebody who really actually also doesn't even go out that much, the thought of packing a bag with three or four outfits so that I can stand somewhere in the sun or on a rooftop somewhere or whatever is exhausting to me. And having to go into the car and change outfit. Girl, girl. So I can show you one, maybe. This is one of them, which I, there we go. There we go. Cute, cute. Uh, I'm trying to do that whole professional, unprofessional, take me seriously kind of vibe. And I absolutely love it. Okay. I'm going to go, probably touch base later. If I don't, this is where this vlog is going to end. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I am, I've got good, big hopes for 2022. And I really would appreciate it if you guys would also follow me on Instagram because that would help as well. A lot of the content that we get or campaigns that we get as content creators also depends on your Instagram following a lot. So I really would appreciate it if you could give me a follow on there too. Uh, but thank you so much for spending the weekend with me and a few days before the weekend. And uh, I'll touch base later. If not, I'll touch base in the next video. We're on the road to 30k okay it's my drink my drink is making me slower than this all right we're on the road to 30k so please do also subscribe join the family love you guys so much i'll see you in the next video Mwah. sayonara do you remember this one bye